We got Jason behind the camera and we have Tim with us today. We're here at Lazy Days Tampa and you're going to give us a walkthrough that I'm very excited about. So what floor plan are we looking at today? First off, thank you for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, this is the new 2020 Grand Design Solitude. This is a 382 WBR. That's a wet bar with a residential refrigerator. Okay. Now, this particular one that we're looking at, this happens to be in the optional Cabernet full body paint. Yes, which is gorgeous. <laughs> the full body paint, uh, of course, it is a, allowed to be very, very attractive. But it also is going to help the coach retain its value. And... Uh, the nice thing about this is this is going to still look brand new years down the road, unlike fiberglass sided coaches with graphics that sometimes fade and peel. Uh, this is a full body paint. You keep this thing washed, have somebody wax it for you once a year. Ten years down the road, it still looks brand new. You yes. can pull in a campground with an eight to ten year old coach and people still think you have a brand new RV. Yes, absolutely. That's a huge plus, especially yes. if you're full timing and you're going to be in the rig for a long period of time. Not a lot of people want to change rates when they're full-time. You get pretty comfortable in there. I know we right. do. We wish we purchased full body paint. Yeah, we do wish we purchased full body paint. That's very I hear that a lot. <laughs> Good to know. So it's worth the upgrade. And I'm glad you mentioned uh, full-timing. Mm -hmm. The Solitude is truly a full-timer friendly coach. Uh, it's extremely well built. It has a, an R45 uh, rating in the floor. R40 in the ceiling, R11 in the sidewalls. They even uh, maintains an R24 rating in the flooring of the slide rooms themselves. So this is truly a full timers unit. It has a fully enclosed underbelly with uh, enclosed tanks. The tanks do have a uh, 12 volt uh, electric pad, so they are heated as well. So you don't have to worry if you're in uh, cold climate then freezing up on you. Right. Exactly. So this is truly a full timers unit. Most manufacturers, if uh, you asked about the warranty, you told me you were a full-timer. They're going to tell you, well, unfortunately, as a full-timer, you don't have any factory warranty. If you ask Grand Design the same question, they're going to say, you know, that's fantastic. We built this well enough for you to live in 365 days a year. You still have a full factory warranty. Yes. And to me, that just speaks volumes about how well a coach is built. Yes, that is definitely something you want to consider, and we've been reiterating that a lot lately, actually, is what is your manufacturer's warranty for full-timers? Because we found that out about Grand Design, and that was a huge decision maker for us. And we're still going to be covered if we have issues on the road. Let's talk a little bit about the coach itself. Okay. Um, the Solitude does come with a frameless flush mount uh, windows. As you see here, very attractive. Something that started with just the higher end diesel coaches now has trickled down into the towables as well. You do see this in the solitudes. This particular model we've uh, brought in with the slide topper awnings. As you can see, it's got the awning over the top and uh, it's overall five of the slides. And what that means to you is that if you are set up in a campground for a while in a nice area like we are here with a lot of trees and leaves all over the ground, but as those leaves fall out of the tree and land on top of your slide room, when you go to put that slide room in, it's just going to roll right off the top. It's not going to get stuck on top of that slide out and then shoved into your bulb seals and cause a potential water leak. Right. It's something very nice to, to have on a coach with a slide top wise. Uh, I used to have to get up with a blower and blow all mine off. You know, yes. My next one's definitely going to have slide top lines. Yeah, we still get up there with a the broom. <laughs> Every yeah, time we're in the campground with trees. No, it's yeah. not fun. Let's uh, walk on over this way. I want you to take a look at the... Uh, the, the storage, this is our front storage compartment. Now this model and the 382 is gonna give you the front storage. And of course you have the little area in the front of the generator as well. But what's special about this, and we'll see when we get around to the back, is it has a lot of basement storage in the rear as well. This is the front storage compartment. You see with the drop frame rail, you don't have any taller lip to get in here. This is truly a full basement. Uh, their basement is a finished basement. You don't see any pipes in here, you don't see any wires hanging down, you're not going to have anything to obstruct your car. Right. The basement is also heated. You've got a heat plenum that runs through there, it blows, blows heat into there, so if you are in a colder climate and you have extra water or something in here, you don't have to worry about it freezing up. Yes. It's a truly a heated basement. Yes. It also has a motion light that comes on when you open the door. Your central vac has a port down here so you can vacuum out your, uh, your basement as well. Oh, that's nice. You feel how thick that door is? Yes. It's a very, very well constructed coach. Yes. Now let's step on back this way if you would. Okay. The next thing I'd like to show you, and something that uh, Grand Design has done that I really like, is they've gone to a solid step. It's not the old pull out steel step that always bound up and got uh, was, was difficult to move in and out. This is a solid step, touches the ground. So when you're loading up, 
there's no flex in this stuff. Even a big guy like me can get on here and it's not going to move around. Right. Uh, it is very easy to operate, unlike the, uh, the older pull-out steps. Yes. You know, this comes up very easily. It's a spring-loaded. You see, oh. I can close this with a single finger. You do want to make sure this is good to have a room out here or something to watch. So I'll see if you want to put the down one. You can see how easy that is. Much easier than the traditional steps. Yes. The legs are adjustable. <laughs> so even if your campsite isn't completely level, you can adjust the steps for the touching the ground. Nice. Yes, we have solid steps, but we don't have the spring loaded ones, so I'm already jealous of these in every year solitude I see. Okay, Ray, um, up front we were talking about the storage, mm -hmm. and you as a full timer know that the one thing you can never have enough of on any RV is storage. Yes. This raised bathroom area in the back allows you to have a tremendous amount of basement storage. Let me show you what we have here. Look at the past new storage you have on this coach. Yes. But it's not just this, it actually goes all the way to the rear of the coach and is accessible from all three sides. Yes. Uh, and you notice what they've done here is they've given you the magnetic latches to hold the door up and you can feel the feel how thick and Yes, that door is definitely one solid can of hinge across there so even if you are pulling something out your door is not flexing it locks up and it holds itself up my experience has been also that if you're getting something out of your storage compartment once you open that door and pull something out typically your hands are full so it's also very easy to close this door because while you're holding something all you need is to be able to take one hand away let go of the door with the slam latches it shuts itself yes isn't that nice yes. that uh, you don't have those old silver twisty latches anymore that never seem to hold and uh, are difficult to use. <laughs> right, exactly. Excellent. Yeah, I love it. Let's walk on back and I'll show you the, uh, the storage from the rear. Okay. Like I mentioned around the other side, this storage is accessible from all three sides. You see we've got the much larger uh, entry door here. And what Grand Design has done is they've also given you a, a slide-out tray. This is a Moride slide-out tray with an 800 pound capacity that allows you to access the depth of that and make it easy to get uh, all of your all of your boxes or goodies out. Uh, this is 11 feet long, so if you want to travel with a kayak, and something that big, yes. plenty of room to fit inside there. So we have this in ours because we have the 375. I love it like this tray after two and a half years has not gotten old yet <laughs> it does make uh, accessing the storage area much much easier uh, something else grand design has gotten you can see it back here is they have put a, a, a hitch on the back this nice. has got a three thousand pound tow capacity if you were in a state that allowed you to dual tow or if you had a little boat something like that yeah. you can't actually pull that wire for the four way it has the uh, seventy three thousand pound capacity on the hitch a lot of people really just use it for a bike rack or something like that yes. but you can't tool from that too nice okay ray over on this side of the storage we've got a couple of things that i'd like to point out first off something new is the uh, um, easy reel the grand design is installed to help make putting this 50 amp cord away much much easier this is power you would simply just unhook your your cord put the tuck the one side in the reel push the button you can reel your cord in instead of having to manually yes. coil it up and set it inside. The other thing that I wanted to point out over on this side is that we have the, uh, the dump station handles in here. You've got your gray handles and your black handle. They are enclosed, so you don't have to worry about uh, being underneath, possibly being broken, or somebody playing with it here. What I'd like to talk about next is, since we're over here, is the, uh, the tires. Yes. Now, tires aren't too exciting, but uh, <laughs> Uh, Grand Design, they do use a 16-inch aluminum wheel with a Westlake G-rated tire. This is a 14-ply tire that comes with a five-year warranty. The nice thing about their warranty, it's first year, no questions asked for replacement warranty. From there, it is prorated, but they do give you a five-year warranty on these Westlake tires. Oh, I didn't even know that. And I've been a Grand Design owner for two and a half years. Well, that's good to know. Cool. Great. From here, let's move on down to the uh, front storage bay. Okay. I'd like to show you the docking station and uh, we'll talk about the leveling system. Perfect. So, Ray, in the front storage compartment is our centralized docking station. This is where your water hookup is going to be, your cable. Uh, you have your whole house water filtration system in here. They've even labeled the different knobs to tell you how to uh, turn it for dry camping, for city water, 
for winterization, it's all right there, very self-explanatory. Uh, just above that, you have the, uh, the exterior shower, a little quick connect post. Mm -hmm. And something that I really like, uh, well, not only have they done your low point drains down here, but this little knob right here, which a lot of people don't know about, this is actually for a, two little LED lights that are on the bottom of your slide down over here. I cannot tell you how many times I've walked into the slide room at night with one of my campers. Great design has helped eliminate that by putting two little LED lights under there so at night, have it lit up, you're going to see that slide room. Hopefully, not walk into it. Right. <laughs> the next thing up here is. Uh, the controller for our leveling system. Yes. All the solitudes come standard with a six-point hydraulic leveling system. This is a fully automatic system. You turn it on, hit the auto button. This is going to level itself. It tries to make it as easy as possible for you once you get to that campsite to get to, to use this and make it level. This also has a memory on it, so as you're taking it off the truck, it's going to remember the ride height that it was at when it was hooked up. So when you are ready to leave the campground and you retract your jacks, these front jacks are going to go back to that same location that it was at when you hooked your truck up. That's going to make hooking up much, much easier. You retract your jacks, all you have to do is back your truck right in, it's at the right height. Right. Yeah. Isn't that going to be nice knowing that you've got that feature on the system? Yes, absolutely. We've tried that on ours and it is pretty nice to have. It's a very nice system. Well, let's walk around the front. I want to show you a couple things on the front of this coach, and then we'll go inside. Does it sound good? Sounds great. Now, around here on the front of the coach, there's a couple things I want to show you. First off, I'm going to show you the, uh, the Kingpin. Okay. Grand Design is using a Moride Kingpin, which does have suspension built into it. They partnered with Grand Design, and not only are they using the, uh, the Moride Kingpin, but they've done a Moride suspension on there as well. And what that means to you is that when you're hooked up to your truck, this is going to eliminate a lot of that chucking that feeling that you're gonna get when you hit bumps and whatnot, you know, translated from this to the truck. It's gonna take that away. And that more ride suspension is also gonna give you a much nicer ride going down the road. As full timers, you have all your belongings inside this RV. Yes. Isn't it nice to know with this suspension, your dishes and all your valuables are riding nicely down that road, not bouncing around and breaking? Yes. <laughs> That's one of the advantages of having the, uh, the more ride thinking and the more ride suspension on this coach. Another thing I wanted to point out, you've got this beautiful one-piece molded fiberglass cap. But what's different about this is you look up, believe it or not, that has a window in it. You can't tell from the outside, but I wanted to point that out to you. That is a window into your living room. I want you to remember that because I'm going to show it to you from the inside. Okay. All right. Now, why don't we go on around inside? We'll take a look at it from in there. Sounds good. All right. Okay, Ray, now we're inside the living room of the 382 Solitude. Yes. And, uh, I wanted you to now see that window that I was talking about on the outside. From the outside, you couldn't tell it was there at all. But on the inside, it allows for a nice picture window in your living room. Yes. So if you aren't watching television and you would rather just have the view, you have that nice view. And of course, something they've done that I really like is that at night, you want to close it off. You've got a nice shade to put down as well. Yes, that's very nice. I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> I, you would think I should know a little bit more about the grand designs, but I feel like they're always coming out with new well, features. Well, you know, they're, they're changing things every single year, which makes my job as a salesman very fun, too. You think you know everything <laughs> about it, the next year, everything changes. Yes, so I, exactly. I know how you feel. <laughs> yeah. um, I mentioned this also has a tele uh, television in here. This is on the televator. <laughs> with the push of a button. Yes. Now you have your entertainment center and you can watch TV at night, catch the local news. Yes. I love the televator. I think I'm going to steal that phrase now. <laughs> well, I don't have it copyrighted, so feel free. <laughs> Perfect. So now you have your entertainment center. Beneath it is your fireplace. Yes. Uh, this isn't just for aesthetics, but this is also a 5,000 BTU space heater. Mm -hmm. So if you're traveling somewhere that's just a little chilly outside, you don't want to run your furnace and then burn your LP, you can turn this on. This is going to heat this area very nicely for you. Mm -hmm. And you're using the campgrounds electricity, not your LP. Yes. <laughs> Big key point there. We always make sure to use our fireplace when we're in the campgrounds. One thing I want to kind of point out to you just while we're standing here, mm -hmm. Do you notice how quiet it is inside? Yes. Now outside, you notice we were just 100 yards off the interstate and there were a lot of trucks going by. Inside here, you can't hear it all. Yes. That's one of the pluses, again, about the grand design and how well it's insulated. It doesn't, also, doesn't just make it easier to 
uh, keep it warm or keep it cool inside, mm -hmm. but it also makes it nice and quiet. So when you are inside your campground in the evening and you want to just have a nice, peaceful, relaxing evening, it's quiet. Mm -hmm. You don't hear your neighbors next to you. Right. Now, this particular solitude that we're in actually has the optional linen furniture. You see both of your sofas mm -hmm. and the uh, recliners are in the linen, a yes. little lighter. Makes for a nice contrast in here with the darker wood. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And you notice there is no carpet in this unit anywhere. Yes. They've eliminated the carpet. So you have vinyl throughout. You don't ever have to worry about, even on the edges of the slides, trying to keep that carpet clean. Just that little bits that always gets dirty. Yes. Yeah. I know the what you're saying because we do still have carpet. We do like our carpet, but it is a lot more maintenance. That's very yeah. true. Yeah. And when you're camping, you tend to bring in dirt more so than yes. if you're not. Yeah. yeah. Our dog does too. <laughs> yes, yes, this does much, much uh, more pet friendly. Yes. Um, I want you to notice another thing about the flooring though. Do you see any heat ducts? No. That's right. I was like, where are heat ducts? That's true. Yeah. With Grand Design, you're never going to have a heat duct in the floor. So you don't have what I like to call the little dirt collectors, yes. um, which no matter what part of the coach they're in, they always collect pet hair, dirt, and you look down the side of it, it's always unsightly. You can't clean it out even with a vacuum. Right. It's just always there. And of course, if you've ever gotten out of bed early in the morning, no shoes on, they're not fun to step on either. <laughs> so you don't see that in any of the grand designs. The heat ducts are actually tucked away on the sides of the furniture. Yes. I know you threw me for a loop there because I for half a second forgot where our heat ducts were, but then I, I remembered. <laughs> it's been a while, but I remembered. Yeah, that is nice. I've never even thought of that as an added feature, but mm -hmm. what I do like actually is in our kitchen, our heat ducts are on the sidewall and it warms the floor for us in the morning. So that's kind mm -hmm. of where I stand if it's really cold, right in front of the heat duct on the wall. Yeah, that is a very, very nice feature. Um, from here, why don't we go in and take a look at the, uh, the living room in your dining area. Sounds good. All right. Okay, Ray, now we're down here in the kitchen. Yes. Um, first thing I'd like to point out to you is this nice little hutch that you have over here. Yes. Um, gives you a lot of additional counter space, plenty of storage, which of course you can never have enough storage in an RV. Yes. Uh, one of the things that I like that they've done though is they've given you a nice central panel right when you come inside to control your slide rooms, your awnings, check your, your tank levels, and of course this particular one has the uh, gin prep on it, so your, your gin start button is right here as well. Okay, that is nice. Very convenient right inside the door when you come in. Another thing that I've liked that they've done in this particular model is they've uh, given you a little bit of hidden storage in here as well. Oh! When you lift up the top of your, your hutch, you have a little hidden storage compartment right here that unless you own the solitude, you wouldn't know that that's there. So it's a no. nice place to hide your valuables if you ever go out. That's cool. Based, based on the Facebook groups, I think a lot of people, even if they own the Solitude, they don't know the hidden storage is there. Yeah, we're in a lot of brand design Facebook groups and someone will be like, a year later and I just found the hidden storage. So that's cool. I had no idea that was there. Well, just tell your friends to make sure that they buy it from Lazy Days and Tim Taylor and they'll know it's there before they take delivery. <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now this particular model is the WBR, R of course standing for Residential Refrigerator. You'll notice behind you, you have a residential refrigerator. Yes. Lots of yeah. space in there. Yeah, this is something that is great, especially for the full timers. You know, if you're out traveling, you need more food. Mm -hmm. You know, you, instead of making all the constant trips to the store, this is a larger refrigerator. And honestly, a residential refrigerator is more efficient than an RV fridge. Mm. This is strictly electric, but with this, it's going to have a little inverter help just to, to help power that and an additional battery for that as well. Yes. The nice. nice thing about this, even for the folks that are not full-timers, let's say if you go to get your RV out of storage with a typical RV refrigerator, mm -hmm. you have to turn it on and about 24 hours later, it's down to temperature and ready for you to load. Right. With this, you plug it in, an hour later, it's at temperature. Oh. You're ready to load, you're ready to go much, much faster. That's nice. Cool. Does this... You can pull out. You do have a built-in ice maker as well. <laughs> well, that's big. I didn't realize how much I liked ice until we hit the road and we didn't have an ice maker anymore. And Jason was the exact same way. Mm -hmm. So that's really nice. And then... Any little oh. lock to keep your door shut when you're traveling down the road. Oh, that's nice. That makes it easy. I've always seen them use the, like, you have to put something through and then screw it. And, and then a always... little screw on the top and you yeah. wonder what do you do with it when you take it out. And yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. This is a much better system. Well, cool. I like that a yeah. lot. Of course, we have the nice island kitchen here in the middle. Yes. Again, more counter space. 
Uh, Grand Design does use the, uh, the large stainless steel sinks. Mm -hmm. This particular one is a separated sink, so if you want to wash on one side, rinse on the other, you can. Yeah, and moving on around here, we have the, uh, the latest Furion three burner cooktop and the larger Furion oven beneath. Okay. And of course, Grand Design also uses a 30 inch convection microwave. That way, if you need to cook two things at one time in an oven, you still can. You can cook in your convection microwave here and the conventional oven down here. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you will, one of the things that Grand Design has been noted for in all of their units is a phenomenal pantry. Would you open up that door? Oh, sure. <laughs> Take oh, a look at that. Yeah. Oh, they added drawers. You've got the three drawers on the bottom. Okay. Tremendous pantry space up top. Yes. Again, full timers. Yeah, they are adjustable shelves. I know. Very, very full timer friendly. If you are out a long time, you can go grocery shopping for an entire week. You've got plenty of room to put that food away. Yes. I feel like every time we do one of these walkthroughs, I just get jealous of all the new features that they've come out with. But cool. And I love all the extra storage. I like this side storage because our pans, mm -hmm. like our long baking pans, kind of, we don't exactly know where to put them. So they go in a regular cupboard, but they kind of slide around. And I would love to have just this side storage, you know. All right. Okay. <laughs> I won't take over looking at everything. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Uh, now moving on around, Right behind you, we have the wet bar, yes. which is what the WB in this floor plan stands for, your wet bar. Yes. Uh, does give you the little cooler down beneath. Great place for wine bottles, extra water. You get the additional counter space, so you have more prep space when you're, when you're cooking. Second sink, of course, mm -hmm. nice thing to have. Um, if you're using this over here for counter space, would you still need to be able to have water access or somebody wants to come and wash their hands? You have the second sink here. Yes. And then, of course, the nice... Uh, storage up above it. I know, and I love that they actually added mirrors in the back because it just like changes the dynamic so much. Right. It's so but beautiful. Not only have they done that, but since there are shelves inside, they've added those little LED lights on the bottom of the shelves oh, so you yeah. can really see what is inside. Yes. And you can get to the back, see what's back there. Let's uh, move on around. Let's uh, talk about the dinette over here. Okay. Okay, Ray, with the, uh, the Solitude, we do have the freestanding table and chairs for your dinette. Mm -hmm. uh, a Grand Design exclusive and something that is new in this product is the table is actually wall mounted. You don't have that pedestal underneath that always made it difficult to get in and out, especially for the people who are sitting on the inside. Right. It's now wall mounted. Yes. Much easier to get in and out. Yes, definitely. Yeah. And I like that they added a leaf too. Yes, it does have the fold up leaf. And of course, you get the four chairs. Two of them are folding chairs, so if it's just the two of you out and you, you don't have guests, you want to make it a little roomier, fold them up, put it in that massive basement we have in the back. Mm -hmm. The other two chairs, they have the storage underneath them. More hidden storage. So, more <laughs> hidden storage, exactly. So the little things, the placemats, maybe paper plates, something that uh, you don't want to put up in the cabinet, you have a place to keep it right here, yes. right at the table with you. Yes. Isn't that nice? It is nice. Well, why don't we move up into the bedroom and uh, we'll take a look up there. Sounds good. Okay, right now we're up here in the in the bedroom of the Solitude. Yes. This particular one has the optional king bed. It would come standard with the queen. You do go to the king bed. They do the little shelves over on the edges mm -hmm. where the uh, queen will give you a little nice sound on either side. Either one is going to have the nice headboard across the, the front. Mm -hmm. And of course, you've got the window over top, which is a little thing, but it lets a lot of light in. Mm -hmm. It gives you... Uh, something to look at and of course you've got the side windows as well so you can open them up and get some nice cross ventilation through here yes and we actually everything you just mentioned is exactly how we use it when we're first getting up that's the top window is the first one we open to kind of let some light into the room and then if we're too hot opening both of those side windows is awesome mm -hmm. it cools us down really quickly yeah a lot of nice breeze come through yes. there yeah now at the foot of the bed we have uh, your closet space and storage this particular model gives you the his and hers closet, hanging closet, and actually in the hallway right next to where Jason is standing, both of those closets do have hanging storage as well. So if you have more clothes that you want to hang as opposed to fold up and put in the drawer space, mm -hmm. you do get the two additional closets in the hallway on this particular model. This also has the chest of drawers in the middle. You get six drawers, three on his side, three on your side. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot like that hutch that was in the kitchen, you have a little hidden storage space down here. Yes. You know, this is We that. call this the jewelry tray. Yeah, I know. I wish. My jewelry tray is... <laughs> I'm not going to say where it is, actually. <laughs> but, <laughs> yes, I love that right there. Yeah. And, uh, of course, I don't know if we can see this or not, but underneath the, the bed, all of the storage, the underbed storage and the grand designs are finished. 
some of the manufacturers have unfinished storages. Some mm -hmm. of them you see the actual slide mechanism. Mm -hmm. The storage underneath the bed in all grand designs is going to be a finished storage. Mm -hmm. And it has, again, another little jewelry tray down there. Very nice. Yep. Cool. One of the things that I like that they really did in this model, and it helps make it easier to get in and out of the bathroom. You mm -hmm. know, a lot of RVs, the door opens out into the hallway where it makes it difficult to, to stand in the hallway to open the door. You have to kind of get out of the way to do it. Right. They've gone to pocket doors. And in this particular model, they've used the new barn style pocket door that separates not only your, your bedroom from the living area, but the bedroom from this bathroom. Yes. In this particular bathroom, you're really gonna like it. I bet. This is huge. If I'm already liking the door, I think I'll like the bathroom. <laughs> Fantastic, let's go on in and check All right. it out. Now, did I tell you this was an impressive bathroom? Yes. It is. When's the last time you walked into a fifth wheel, or into any RV for that matter, and the two of you were able to stand in the bathroom together? Yes. Most of them are pretty small. Yes. <laughs> this is huge. So when you're getting out of the shower, when you get up in the morning, you want that dressing area, mm -hmm. you've got plenty of room right here. Mm -hmm. His and her sinks, double vanity. That's the best part. You, know, you can both opinion. brush your teeth at the same time. Great storage inside here. Mm -hmm. Toilet over off to the corner at an angle, elbow room. Yes. That's a wonderful thing. <laughs> yes. One of the things I really like that they did in this particular model, though, and something that uh, our taller customers appreciate, this is a drop-down shower. Yes. Most showers are raised up several inches above the floor, so when you step in the, in the shower, you know, any, any customer who is six foot tall, their head is up into the skylight. Yes. You're tall. You still have plenty of room in there. Yes, I know. And it's a one-piece molded fiberglass shower stall. Being one piece, that means there's no seams in there, like a, a lesser quality product. No seams, less potential for water leaks. Right. That's a really nice feature to have. And of course, also inside this bathroom is your washer and dryer hookup. You have a closet over here that you can put a stack washer and dryer into. Yes. And not just a little combo, but you can do a stack unit in here. Yes. Um, or of course, just use it for additional storage space. I know, I love this closet, it is huge. Uh, as if this rig doesn't have enough storage. This closet's just the best. <laughs> With the extra closet, it does. It just adds to the storage that this unit already has. Yes, exactly. Well, cool. Is that, I think that's yeah. everything. Do so you have any questions about it while we're here? I don't think so, but I love it. Excellent, excellent. Well, can we get it ready for you? <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. We love our 375. We just can't leave that floor plan just yet, but we'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm here for you when you're ready. Perfect. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I have your cell phone number, so I Please feel free to share. <laughs> I can harass you with all these questions if we aren't able to answer them as well. So thank you so much for your time today. I know this is a crazy busy time before the show, so we really, really appreciate it. And other than that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to join our getaway gang. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Bye.